Simone Ashley is fairly new to the entertainment industry. She first came to global attention for her role as Olivia, a member of the Untouchables clique in the Netflix teen comedy series Sex Education. The announcement that she had been cast as Kate Sharma, Anthony Bridgerton's love interest in Bridgerton season 2, sparked joy from fans. She's a rising star that everyone should be on the lookout for. Here are 10 fun facts about Simone Ashley. Her creativity launched her into acting. Simone Ashwini Pillai, known professionally as Simone Ashley, was born on March 30, 1995, in Camerley, Surrey, England. She is a British actress of Indian heritage with a Tamil background. When she spoke with Elle Australia, she mentioned how she always loved to create. If given the opportunity to create something, Ashley was always ready to take on the task. She mentioned that acting was a field she always wanted to pursue and was never hesitant about going after her dream. She told Valex, I've just always wanted to create, and anything that allows me to do that has got my attention. It allows me to be spontaneous and play, I guess it's something I've always wanted to pursue and didn't think twice about it. Breakthrough Role Ashley is still relatively a newcomer to the acting world, only making her first major film and TV debut in 2016 on Wolfblood. She then appeared in Guilt, Broadchurch, Doctors, and Casualty. Her breakthrough role came when she secured the role of Olivia in Netflix's Sex Education. She told Vogue, Sex Education was really life-changing. I'm so grateful for that show. I learned so much in my craft and as a person. It was such a joy. She struggles on the set of Bridgerton. To do justice to a character, the actor must relate to it, which implies that they have to learn the things that are a part of their character. Ashley, who plays the role of Kate Sharma in the new season of Bridgerton, was no exception to this rule. Apart from mastering horseback riding and ballroom dancing, she also had to take classes to perfect her accent. However, these weren't the only things she had to put effort into. In an interview with Glamour, Ashley reflected on various topics, and her struggles with the corset on the set were one of them. Although she insists that wearing the corset was interesting, she didn't refrain from detailing her experience with the corset on the set. She said, so, I had this massive portion of salmon, and that's when I needed to be sick, basically because I was wearing the corset. I realized when you wear the corset, you just don't eat. I had a lot of pain with the corset too, I think I tore my shoulder at one point. Her parents found her career choice unsettling. As most parents tend to be whenever their child comes to them and tells them they want to go in a highly competitive field of acting, they were a little unsettled. She told Valex, they still find it quite scary and unsettling. There is no crystal ball, no security, no guarantee. Which can be a parent's worst nightmare. But they know I'm a smart lady. You can't spend your life going with what your parents want, or your friends, teachers, lovers, want. She also spoke about how, despite her parents' concerns about her livelihood, she still forged ahead to create her own path. You have to be your own hero and just go with your gut. My parents are incredibly protective over me, and sometimes I found it quite stifling. It made me want to escape and do things my own way. I've always been a bit rebellious in that sense. She considers herself a romantic. Good thing Ashley is a hopeless romantic since she's starring in a series based on romance novels. When talking to the crazy mind, she revealed that being a romantic helped her in her audition for sex education, saying that she fell in love with the heartwarming relationships and encounters in the script. She also stated that the brilliant writing and the fresh approach to high school life were also what drew her to the series. She based her sex education character off of Roller Girl in Boogie Nights. There's a reason why Olivia, Ashley's character in Sex Education, is constantly chewing gum and blowing bubbles, it's because the actress based her character off of Heather Graham's character Roller Girl in the film Boogie Nights, who does the exact same thing. Ashley said her character does this so much as a way to distract people and keep them from getting to know the real her. She attended the same theater school as Kate Winslet. Turns out, she went to the same theater school as Kate Winslet. Ashley went to Red Roof School for the Performing Arts, which is located in Maidenhead, England, from 2011 to 2013. Other alumni from the school include Downton Abbey's Joanne Froggatt, EastEnders' Lucy Benjamin, and my family's Chris Marshall, all well-known English actors. She has a deep love for music. Growing up, Ashley loved a lot of the music her father listened to, and it fostered her great appreciation for music today. She told Valex, I have such a deep love for music. I listen to everything and anything. But I grew up listening to a lot of rock and roll, that's due to my father. Fleetwood Mac have always been my number one. 
The Doors, The Rolling Stones, Steely Dan. My mother would always play Phil Collins too. She's proud to represent dark-skinned Asian women. She strongly believes representation matters and is proud to represent dark-skinned Asian women on screen. In June 2020, she appeared on the cover of Harper's Bazaar India and spoke on the issue of colorism. She said, the more we let in, the more we can understand and be proactive. Being proactive is helping. Donate, sign petitions, protest, speak up. And hey, it's 2020, a message to all dark-skinned Desi girls, put down that fairness cream, you don't need it. She also opened up to Valex about how colorism is an ongoing challenge in her career, but she's here to break barriers. She said, yes, colorism is an ongoing issue. As is being typecast, being looked over because of the color of your skin, losing roles to girls that are more relatable to target audiences and markets. But if I surrender to all of that, where would I be going? Nowhere. Fuck that. I really believe in myself and in other dark-skinned women, especially South Asian women. We are smart, we are talented, and we all have something special to offer as artists. Her favorite Indian dish is chai. When asked about what she would serve at a traditional Desi dinner party, Ashley revealed her go-to dish is chai. She said, no time to eat. Give me the chai. Only chai. Chai. Where's my chai tea?